Now we all know that siblings fight from time to time, but how do you handle the conflicts between your children? I visited the Kettle family along with a child coach to find out how. Let's take a look. When raising children, there are many joys and many challenges, like conflicts between siblings. Today, I visit the Kettle family and Debbie McChrystal, a child life coach, to help us all become more conscious in difficult family situations. I have been working with kids most of my life. I initially studied psychology and then I studied education. What I found was that children who are struggling emotionally are not in the state of mind to learn. And so I felt that I should take it from a different angle. To be able to teach them those really essential coping skills, I felt was better. So I studied through an education system in the UK and am now a kids life coach. I think one of the, the things that's really important to understand is that when children are little, they actually, their prefrontal cortex, which is our conscience, which is the part of us that teaches us to behave and control our emotions, isn't developed yet. And I think that's a key element that parents don't know about, which is important in, in these situations to understand that when a child has flipped, that they actually are just unable to express their needs. So what is important is to allow them the space to, to express their emotions safely. It's also important to validate their emotions and because you're allowed to have your feelings but you're not allowed to hurt somebody, you know? So to have very clear boundaries and, and say to them, you know, feel your feels and when you've calmed down, we can talk about this. But it's also important to be on their level as opposed to standing over them and telling them, you know, that there is a problem with them. Allow them the room to calm down. Um, and then once they are calm, to then go and discuss with them their behavior and how inappropriate it was but always to be very specific about the behavior, not the child. Um, and then afterwards to, as a family, sit down and discuss, you know, problem solving solutions, you know. So siblings, they're, they're always different personalities. There are always going to be clashes. What's important is to encourage situations where they work cooperatively together, to praise those situations when they do it, but at the same time to allow them their own personal space to be independent little humans that they are. We have moved on and we don't live like cavemen anymore. We now live in houses and we don't have lions chasing us anymore. But that part of the brain is still very much there to protect us. That part of the brain we have called Amy. And Amy is our gorilla because she's the protector. And often when we are in situations that are scary or sad or make us angry, Amy comes out and she wants to tear the house down. <laughs> but can we do that anymore? No, we can't. Because we'd probably get into a lot of trouble, wouldn't we? So that's where the other part of the brain came along. As we develop from caveman to modern day people, we then develop the prefrontal cortex, otherwise known as Tex. And Tex is the sheriff because he's in charge of making sure that we make the right decisions. So guys, let's talk without the adults. How do you feel doing Conscious Kids with Debbie? I think she's really nice, like, and she really teaches us such important skills we need to learn in our life. Ever since I've been going to Debbie, I think I've learned to express myself more freely and I've learned how to be more organized and be mindful of our surroundings and the people around me and myself and what I do. Janelle, how has Debbie's intervention helped you as a parent? Being a proactive parent allows for your child to be equipped before situations occur, rather than reacting once you're sitting with a situation that you can't fix. So it's about, for me, it was all about equipping my children to cope in a world that's ever-changing. I realized that coaching is actually something that everyone should do. 
Having Debbie's program has just really bridged the gap between me as a parent and my children. It's helped me understand my children in a better way. It's never too soon for a family to start living more consciously and with intention. The Kettle family is better off having the coaching of Debbie to help them through the difficult stages of being young. Pali, that was, that was honestly fascinating. Tell me about your experience as an aspiring parent as well. Yeah, I was literally about to say I am in the deepest of training sessions when it comes <laughs> yeah. to being a parent. Look, I think it's really important to, you know, I always say prevention is better than cure. Absolutely. So being forward focused and future focused, instead of waiting for the kids to mm. battle it out, it's so much better for us to find ways to heal, to be better. And that is exactly what Debbie is doing within the Kettle family. That is, uh, I mean, uh, that's incredible. You know, I often think to myself, if I had to have my kids now, mm. I'd be a different parent and I'd be mm. speaking the way you just spoke. So well done, sister. Here's to conscious that's, parenting. That, that is incredible. <laughs> that segment, I have to say, was quite enlightening for me too. And I certainly plan to implement a lot of that advice in my own home.